There's another side to the nuclear discussion, and that's nuclear power. And the consequences that we saw uh, a few years ago at Fukushima. And so now we want to invite Chizu Hamada, who will speak on the links between nuclear weapons, nuclear power, and the ongoing dangers of Fukushima. You know, when things leave the news, we often don't think about them. And so this is an important reminder that things, we're still living with the consequences of what happened there. Um, Chizu is a San Francisco business owner and spokesperson for the No Nukes Action Committee, a group of Japanese citizens, Japanese Americans, and others who came together after the 311, 2011 earthquake, tsunami, and meltdowns at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Good morning. I was born in Tokyo, Japan, three years after the United States of America um, de uh, detonated two atomic bombs over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And uh, while I've called America my home for 40 years, I can never forgive this country for the inhumane act it committed in 1945. Simply put, atomic bombings are international war crimes. But I am grateful to see you get together here. I believe your will and strength to abolish the nuclear weapons will change the world one day. The Hiroshima and Nagasaki atomic bombings are demonstration done on innocent human beings. The USA government needed to show their might and power. And they succeeded. The rest of the world, uh, USA had the most powerful weapons in the history of man. But when I think of these bombings, I always think of victims and their sufferings. Picadon, that what victims called atomic bomb. Pika to describe the intense light. Dawn to describe the enormous explosion that followed. Picadon killed more than more than a hundred thousand people instantly in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And the next few months. Uh, acute effect to kill another 100,000 people. And suffering of the survivors, Hibakusha, from uh, after effect of radiation, still continues to this day. There is no end to the suffering caused by atomic bomb. The USA has spent billions of dollars to develop these new uh, nuclear weapons and technology. And of course, they have looked for the way to recoup their investment. That's where nuclear power plants come in. The USA sold nuclear power plant to Japan and Japan regretfully bought them. Imagine that Japan, a country that suffered so much from atomic bomb, decided the nuclear power was a good choice. The American, because the American government was cunning and sly, and Japanese government was stupid and vain. And the Japanese uh, government wanted to own the nuclear technology and the weapons. Since then, 54 nuclear power plants have sprouted like a mushroom on an earthquake from island. 54 plants. And three years and five months ago, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant melted down when a huge earthquake and tsunami struck Japan. 
Well, we're supposed to be surprised to rely on a technology with a history of calamity. What were we to expect? And today, the Fukushima accident is far from the over. The problems and the difficulties are only glowing. But despite of these troubles, Japanese government has never given up on the nuclear power plant. And they're pushing forward on the nuclear recycling and reprocessing the programs and then planning to restart many nuclear power plants. Despite the disapproval of the majority of the people, why can't the Japanese government given up the nuclear power plant because the nuclear power plant can produce plutonium. The nuclear power plants are passed to the nuclear weapons. In 1993, former Prime Minister Hata said Japan has the capability to produce nuclear weapons. On July 1st this year, Japan approved a reinterpretation of peace constitution. The, this approval allows the use of self-defense force outside of Japan. Japan is stepping forward toward the militarism with the capacity to produce nuclear weapons. This is a terrifying thought and it must be stopped. Nuclear weapons and the nuclear power plant go hand in hand. It is foolish to think otherwise. The international vision of the prevention of a nuclear war stated a world without nuclear weapons will only be possible if we also phase out the nuclear energy. If we want a world without nuclear weapons, then we must phase out nuclear energy. This is a fact we fight for. We fight for our children. We fight for the coming generations. I came from Tokyo, a long time resident of America, and I have decided to fight. I hope we will continue to fight it together. Thank you. Thank you.